This is Louise for MMA Crazy and we're here with Paul Redman. Now Paul, you're fighting uh, Robert Whiteford this Saturday at UFC Glasgow. What was your initial reaction when you heard about Glasgow? Uh, as, the, uh, as, a, as an event? Yeah, yeah. Well, um, they've never had an event before and I think it'll, um, it'll mirror our image the Dublin show last year um, with regards to atmosphere, so yeah, I think it's going to be wicked. Because it's sold out within what half an hour or something like that um, so when when did you first hear about being put onto this card uh, a couple of months back uh, about three or four about three and a half months ago so um, we got the call accepted the fight and then a couple, the, the, the whole card sort of got sort of announced maybe a couple of weeks ago or eight weeks ago so i've known about it about three and a half months and what do you think of robert as an opponent for you yeah he's tough he's you know he's tough as they come um, He's not. He's 11 and one for a reason. You know, he's good. Good stand up. Um, really good judo. It's good ground game. So yeah, he's a tough, tough opponent. And you made your UFC debut debut in your last fight. Um, what did you learn from that, and how has that helped you going forward into this fight? Yeah, you know, I made my debut, but I had to cut a hell of a lot of weight to get in there. Um, I cut nearly 25 pounds in 12 days. Um, so. That alone was tough mentally, uh, by the time I came around the fight day, I just had nothing there, you know. Um, this time we've done it a little bit better, a little bit cleaner, um, with regards field wise and stuff like that. It just take me 10, 11 weeks to get the weight down. But uh, yeah, I, I really do just want to go in there and put on a performance on uh, Saturday. So how are you feeling mentally and physically now today? Uh, a lot better, 100%. And you've got other Irish... Um, Team, well, not teammates, but countrymen, yes. maybe, if we say that. Uh, you've got uh, Joseph Duffy. Yeah, so what's that like, sharing a card with them? Yeah, it's cool, yeah. Um, like, I've t t the two guys, I've, um, I've been on cards with them throughout my whole career, you know. Um, we, on on uh, shows in Ireland, England, anywhere, anytime we would go away to uh, to England to fight, those guys would be on the card. We've, I've been over with training with Paddy and stuff like that, you know, so it's, it, it's great. It, it just brings sort of uh, um, an Irish atmosphere into the dressing rooms, you know. And how do you think the Scottish crowd is going to compare to that Irish crowd? Oh, do you know what? I think it'll be on a par, you know. I think it'll be. I think they're going to big up their Irish fighters. They're obviously sold out in less than an hour or an hour or two. Um, so I think they'll be up from, from the get go. So, uh, yeah. It should be good, it should make for a really good card and atmosphere. Um, and the Irish fans always follow their fighters everywhere, don't they? Yeah. Um, do you know there's going to be a, a big kind of following? Um, I know I've got a couple of friends coming over and stuff like that. Now, I don't really pay, play, play it too, into too much attention with regards um, you know, trying to organise tickets for them and like that. Let them do their own thing. But uh, I know there is a good few uh, coming. And then I'm sure Joe and Paddy will have a lot of people coming over then as well. So, yeah, it should be good. And what did you think of the Conor McGregor fight? It's really good. You know, the atmosphere made for a, for a, a brilliant night. Um, it was good for you. Really good for you. I enjoyed it. Did you take any inspiration from watching that card? Of course, yeah. Well, look, as I said, um, I've fought on cards up and down Ireland and England with Conor. Um, so we know we all started at the same time and we all um, were around a long time in Ireland and the same deal that was yeah it was good. So going back to your fight on Saturday, how have you been preparing for your opponent in the run up to this fight? Yeah, um, just cleaned. I had to clean up my diet um, so where it was 100% um, to get the weight down. I put in a, a, a total of a, this is this has been my 12th week camp. Um, Whole new strength and conditioning program, training with pro boxers and um, training with the Irish wrestling team as well. So yeah, I'm good. So what do you think your strengths are gonna be on Saturday then? Um, I don't think anybody has any strengths um, in the UFC or MMA to be honest uh, anymore. I think those days of wrestlers or jits players are, are gone. Um, like I know Rob is his speciality is judo, you know. Um, so yeah, look I'm just I'm, I'm just ready to go in and stand, bang, on the floor, whatever. So do you see the fight unfolding in a particular way? Uh, not so much. I don't really. Uh, I will see what it's like on the night, but um, it, it obviously starts standing. I have been walking my hands, so yeah, I'll, I'll keep it standing. So how do you see yourself getting the win then on Saturday? Oh, do you know, I never do predictions. I just never ever do them. Just I think you're setting yourself up for a major fail if you do. So yeah, I just I, I stay well clear of that one. Okay. Well, we look forward to seeing it. Atmosphere is going to be amazing. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.